Hello, I'm Gary Briggs of Bloodline Bow Fishing, and in this video I'm going to be testing a couple more lights. Uh, if you're hearing some background noise, it's incredibly windy and cold in California. It's the end of March, and this global warming's got everything all haywire out here. So I apologize for any noise you're hearing. Um, as you can see, it's almost dark. I'm about to start testing these two lights. What I have here is a 100-watt multi-chip from eBay. This is uh, constructed in the exact same fashion as the 50-watt that utterly failed in the uh, light test video that I did earlier. Um, the fins are garbage. I have very low expectations on how this light is going to perform. This light here, however, looks to be a little more promising. This is a LEDMO, L-E-D-M-O, that I found on Amazon for $26.99. It is constructed similarly to the custom fits and the sea light. However, it is not uh, built quite as nice as they are. Um, there's a big discrepancy in weight, probably around a pound difference, which, as I've mentioned before in other videos, I think speaks to quality. However, it looks like it might be a pretty decent light for the money. Um, another wrinkle I'm going to add to these tests is I purchased a meter um, with an amp clamp. So what I'm going to do is, while when the lights get uh, fully warmed up, ready to rock and roll, I will isolate a single wire feeding the lights put the amp clamp on there. When Once I know the amps, I can use Ohm's Law to determine how many watts the light is actually using. I mean, they say it's a 50 watt light, but how do we really know unless we test it? So I'll go back afterwards and test all the other lights we've tested before. And this will also tell us the power demands of every individual light, which I think might be important. If you're cutting it close on your generator, you've only got 1600 watts to work with. You wanna make sure that you're getting the most amount of light for your watts. So. We'll start doing this uh, now that I've got this cool amp meter. Okay, first up to be tested is the eBay Cheapo 100 watt multi chip LED, $20 on eBay. We have one lux meter precisely 60 inches away from the LED light. We have one high definition camera to zoom in on said lux meter. We also have an amp meter, which uh, using Ohm's Law we can convert into watts. And we have an infrared thermometer. Okay, we are reading 0.64 amps on the uh, 100 watt multi-chip. Let me do the math on that. 0.64 times 1 to 0 equals, uh, come on, can you get it? 76.8 watt light. So this 100 watt light is actually 76.8 watts. Okay, the 100 watt multi-chip from eBay is fully warmed up and it is showing a lux of 574. 574. That is about as bright as a decent 50 watt from the previous test. eBay special has been on now for about 10 minutes. And we're showing a temperature of about 123, 124 degrees. And we'll call it 125. Okay, here we have the LEDMO. Where do these Chinese people come up with these names? LEDMO, 50 watt, warm white LED, Amazon.com, uh, $26.99. One lux meter, 60 inches away. One camera to zoom in on the lux meter. One amp meter and a uh, infrared thermometer. Okay, and there we go. Let's see what our amp reading is. 0.47, let me get the calculator and do the math. 0.47 times one to zero equals, uh, can we read it? There we go, 56.4. So this 50 watt light is actually a 56.4 watt light. Okay, the LEDMO 50 watt LED from Amazon.com has warmed up and it is showing a lux of 574. That is one lux less than the supposed 100 watt eBay multi chip LED. 574 lux, 573. Okay, trying to get my infrared thermometer down in there. 93.8 degrees. Let's check in a couple more spots. 67. 71, 71. I will call it 98 degrees, so not too bad.
Okay, here we have both lights sitting here. Um, I don't even think we need to have a long discussion about that. The eBay special on the right, look at these fins. Not very many of them. They're shallow and they're of a thin gauge. Compare that to the Ledmo. Um, tighter rows of fins. They're of a thicker gauge and they're deeper. So it's obvious why one light runs 20, 30 degrees cooler than the other. Um, the lead mode did have a hot spot of 98 degrees, but if you measure the outside edges, it was in the 60s and 70s, so it actually runs pretty cool. Well, guys, I feel like uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't apologize. I have been doing these tests wrong from the start. This um, amp meter is a game changer. This is going to tell us which light is the most efficient. And since we're running lights off generators, efficiency should be what we strive for. With this amp meter, I can determine uh, how many lux per watt every individual light is using. So we can quit arbitrarily calling them 100 when we know this is a 76 and a 50 when this is a 56 and we can then determine some type of an efficiency rating. So I'm going to have to go back and test every light again with the amp meter and then update my board uh, because I think it's important that we figure out which light is the most efficient. So back to the business at hand the eBay light is terrible. It's garbage. It's not even 100 watts. It's 76 watts. Don't buy these. Just trust me. Spend a couple dollars more. This is $22. This is $26.89. It's not that big of a difference in price. Um, this light is built better. Uh, keep in mind, it's not a C light, but it's built better. It runs cooler, and it is way brighter um, watt for watt than this light. So. If you're a budget-minded budget minded bow fisherman, I think this is a worthy option. I get it, not everyone, including myself, can afford to put 20 sea lights on a boat. So, I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Please visit www.bloodlinebowfishing.com. Also join the BAA, they protect our rights as bow fishermen. And as always, please wear your personal flotation devices. Till next time, guys.